And this one, let's take a look at finding the derivative of f of x here equals sine squared of x. So the first stage is to be write this as f of x equals sine of x and the whole thing squared. You want to do it that way because then you can identify the fact that this is a composition of two functions. Sine of x is the inner function and the squaring of the exponent of two there is the outer function. Once you have recognized that basic fact, let me number the steps, you can apply the basic chain rule, so f prime of x. So you differentiate the outside. In this case, you use the power rule for the outside. You put the two down, you copy the inside, which is just sine of x, and then up here you do two minus one, you subtract one from the exponents, and then you multiply this whole thing by the derivative with respect to x of sine of x, which is what I'm doing now. Lastly, you can clean this up a little bit. So f prime of x equals 2. Now an exponent 2 minus 1 is just 1. So you just put down sine of x for that reason. And the derivative of sine of x is cosine x. So you write that down next. Lastly, at step number 5, clean it up a tiny amount more. There's a basic trig identity that says 2 sine x cosine x is equivalent to just writing sine of 2x. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like.